Interesting stories. Interesting people. Welcome to the Humble Badger Podcast. Thank you for listening to this podcast today. You could support the podcast at The Humble Badger on Twitter and Facebook or at The Humble Badger Podcast on Instagram. This episode is brought to you with the help of our promotional partners at the Studio Paint Bar, Mississauga's first and only premium paint and wine bar. Find out more at studiopaintbar.ca. My name is Pablo Dawson. I am a Dramedian and a local D-list celebrity and the host for this episode. We start every episode with some kind of random information or maybe a thought that popped into my head or sometimes a question online. And one of the questions we got online, I'm not sure if this person had the the right venue uh, to discuss this, but I thought it was an interesting topic. So let's bring it up. It's new homes, new houses, the average house price. I mean, it is just increasing and increasing everywhere in Ontario, in Mississauga in particular, the 2019 medium home price was $685,000. And it has become unaffordable for most people. But a lot of people uh, have said that, you know what, I really don't care about getting into a new house. I like the house I'm in. I'm certainly in that camp. I'd love to know what my co-host thinks. Yeah, you know what? I think millennials always want new things and they have to have everything of the best. And it wasn't like our parents who just went into the market and bought what they could afford. Uh, Everybody wants what they can't have nowadays and everyone has to look a certain way. So I would agree with that statement. Uh, I'm just happy that I bought my tiny box of a condo in 2016. uh, For 685,000? Not even close. (laughs) I thought I overpaid then and now it's doubled. So Well, see, there you go. I mean, and again, not to paint all millennials with the same brush because I don't think that that's fair but <laughs> i do uh, I, hi hi guys and just so you know i'm an entertainment journalist a comedy writer a podcast extraordinaire and a fast pitch softball champion the electric links um lk lk yes uh, you can check her out at the electric links on instagram or the twitter account she created this morning Okay, you're new to social media. Though, I am right? very new. There's not a lot of content, but please feel free to look me up and uh, add me. Yeah, we and make sure you do that. And another person that you should add is someone who also knows a thing or two about new houses. <laughs> Hello, I'm Carla Gonzalez Casanova, and I'm very happy to be here. Thank you so much for having me. And thank you for being here. Yes. What do you think about uh, new houses and the house prices that are going up in Mississauga? I'm going to throw you off a little bit in okay. the sense of um, I think your home should be your own self first. Oh, mm-hmm. nice. And uh, once you have that and you're comfortable in your own home, meaning your body and yourself, mm-hmm. then you can live anywhere and be happy. So, oh, I'm very comfortable yeah. with my body. Yeah, good. Um, <laughs> a lot of other people say I shouldn't be, but, uh, you know. If you love you, that's great. Oh, I, yes, I love myself um, um, a lot. If you can't love yourself, how in the hell are you going to love someone else? I agree. Can I, I get agree. an amen up in here? Amen. amen. Yeah, you have to be. See? Yeah. She's dropping uh, notes of wisdom, so um, that is for sure. And Carla Casanova, (laughs) you are a musician and an artist. Uh, Tell the people a little bit about what kind of genres of music you play, what instruments you play, and um, and about your art a little bit. Okay, so on the music part, I play the instrument of vocal cords. uh, (laughs) Hey, it's an instrument. (laughs) Yes. 100% Uh, it's an instrument. You have to be very careful and take care of them Mm -hmm. very much like an instrument. And I sing all kinds of music, all kinds. I have uh, one band called Latin Dream. We do Latin music or merch, English, you know, mashup. Mm-hmm. And then I have another band called Soul Addicts, which means addicted to the soul. Mm-hmm. And that band is uh, original music. And I work with Charlie Paris. And that's uh, Chapa. That's, that's it for music. Then for arts, I like all kinds of arts too. And mm-hmm. I went to school here in Toronto. That's how I came to Canada, by the way. Oh. And then um, I love all kinds of arts. I love drawing mostly, and mm-hmm. I teach as well. So, oh, yeah. Nice. Wow. Well, you're an, uh, I, I want to say, a Renaissance woman. Thank yeah, you. 100%. And, and, like and of course, I do graphics. So that's oh, okay. no more. I think I don't have any more secrets. I love <laughs> <laughs> Oh, we're going to uncover those in this we'll episode uncover if those, you yes. do. Okay, don't worry. If not, it. then we'll put it on Badger After Dark. Oh, yeah. that's okay. <laughs> yeah. That's a special episode. Yeah. <laughs> so you've been playing music for... Forever. 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 Yeah. Since you were a child. She came out of the womb yeah. just playing yeah. guitar or something. You must have played lots of venues around Mississauga then. Yes. What's I've... your What's one of your favorite venues to play and why? Mississauga. I love 
playing outside festivals. So mm-hmm. I've been at the city, uh, Misaka City Hall, like, uh, I don't know, celebrations, can occur. they call yeah. it now in my mm-hmm. times, they call it just City Hall. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh, I love playing by the port credits, uh, you know, in the waterfront. The there? waterfront. Um, I play big festivals. I also like to just play randomly where I'm allowed, uh, mm-hmm. out of the blue. And I enjoy <laughs> okay. people um, watching and enjoying and dancing and singing with me. Yeah, so, her yeah. band was yeah. just on my street the other day. Just They just picked up and, you know, were performing randomly. Party time! Yeah. Yeah. yeah, it drove our house prices up by like $10,000. <laughs> it was nice. That I mean, would be a great contract, yeah. yeah. That. yeah. House so, yeah. prices haven't gone through yeah. the roof already. Just That's call right. our band up to play a <laughs> block party. Exactly. Right? Do it, do it. Do it. <laughs> So, Carla, um, you sing both in Spanish and in English. Yes. Um, is there one that you're more comfortable in? Or is there one uh, language that you prefer to sing in? Let's put it this way. If you want to say things straight up, use English. <laughs> if you want to like make them romantic and different and <laughs> difficult and passionate, use Spanish. <laughs> That's how I see it. Yeah. I see. Okay. Yeah. So, um, I guess... Uh, when you do your songwriting, mm-hmm. you, th- that factors in. Actually, most of our songs for the original are uh, uh, Spanglish. So okay. meaning the song uh, will be a line in Spanish and the same thing, but in English, kind of so people can get the feel of what we're trying to say. Mm-hmm. Even though these days a lot of people speak Spanish, but uh, not everybody. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you remember writing your first song and what that song was about? Yes. It was about cheese, wasn't it? Of course, it's about the big topic, love. Oh! And, oh. And so it cheesy was, love. That's the universal yeah. language. Yeah, I love cheese. So yeah, and it was about uh, accepting people as they were. Otherwise, you can't love them and you just walk away. So you just kind of have to take them for yeah, who they for are? they are. How complex they are, how much of a labyrinth they will maybe. Yes. But... Uh, that's fine. If you don't like it, move on. And if you like it, then take the labyrinth. That's and, right. And How and old were you it. when you wrote that song? I don't remember. Teenager? Was, yeah, a young, teenager, yeah, yeah. A young love. <laughs> young love. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I wrote about cheese when I was like 12. Oh, wow. Yeah. I never recorded it, though, thankfully. <laughs> <laughs> so how would you describe your sound, Carla? Sound? Yeah. Um, it's... Uh, if you put a bunch of sounds in a blender and then you blend them, <laughs> uh, that's it. It sounds uh, like a margarita. Yeah, what, that, yeah. that's what are the, the idea. sounds that you blend in, though? So yeah. There's a bit from where I come from, Venezuela, so mm. there's a lot of uh, tropical vibe to it. But mm. at the same time, there's a lot of influences of rock. So then oh. it's it's a merge. So mm-hmm. I wouldn't go with one of the other, or the other. I have not tried Screamo. That's the only oh, style Screamo. I have it. <laughs> but the other ones I have. So I love every kind of music. And mm. as long as you don't hurt yourself singing it, that's I've tried. It. Hurt so, yourself yeah. singing it? Oh, yeah. If you do Screamo bands, oh. Oh, yeah. you can ask you can Max Addy about that. Hurt your vocal cords? <laughs> yes, yeah. you can. Yeah. Oh, I, I just thought there was other clumsy musicians, you know, like uh, I, I would pull a muscle like walking up to the mic, that kind of thing. So... <laughs> I thought it was like that. No, you don't. You're really good with the mic. Well, this is a, a fun, you know, I'm going to reveal something here that a lot of people oh. don't know because um, I posted a photo of myself at an event uh, the other day and one of the people uh, who happened to be a performer at that event uh, messaged me and he says, why does it look like you have a death grip on the microphone? And, oh my and the truth is the reason why I do that is because I actually have arthritis in my fingers. Oh. So I hold it tight because I'm afraid it's just going to drop, gonna it. drop oh. uh, if I don't, which would be very embarrassing if you're the uh, MC of an event yes. and the mic drops, uh, because that that's, you know, everybody wants to do the mic drop, but if you do it in yeah. that way, it just you, looks incompetent. You, you want to so, do it intentionally. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, I definitely, um, you know, I have a death grip on the mic. So Carla, you do all of these things, you know, you, you, you sing and you do art and, um, how do you unwind then? How do you how do you relax? By doing more art and more singing. <laughs> <laughs> yes. I don't have I I have to confess that's my Achilles heel. I don't know how to relax, so I just keep enjoying whatever I do. Mm-hmm. I mean, the reality is that relax for some people is different than for others. Maybe right. I came without that of like just being on a couch or sitting. 
I don't do that. that but, stuff. So when you go on vacation, yeah. for example, like uh, you're still pl- uh, doing art and you're doing music? I will take my sketchbooks and I'll just oh. walk around the beach, find a cool spot mm. um, to sketch at. And, yeah, I just hit the buffet, yeah. but you can know that by you just You can sketch the buffet too. Yeah. I, I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Sketching the buffet. <laughs> yeah, I'd be too busy. I, I, I like the swim up bar myself. The but, swim up bar, yeah. yes. Oh, that's yeah. a good mm-hmm. one. Yeah, yeah. Sure. Yeah, I'm not I'm not as much of a fan of the of the swim up bar. I mean, I guess it was a novelty the first time, but after that it was yeah. it was pretty much fine. But you perform mostly in and around uh, Mississauga. And by the way, if you want to check out her band, um go to little, little underground sound.ca and Latin Train is right in front. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Great. Okay, well, I think it's time for some rapid fire. You're just excited to get to rapid fire. I okay, think let's so. uh, let's do it. Carla, do you remember how this works? Sort of. I'm going to ask my friend here, the Tejon, to help me out. The okay. Tejon, which is Spanish for badger. badger. For and the, it sounds so nice, doesn't yes. it? Tejon. And You're for right the little badgers and badgerettes at home right now that can actually see what's happening, Carla has um, co opted to use our badger mascot to yes. help her along the With way. rapid fire. With rapid fire. Because it, they're going to answer it. No. Yeah. But oh. I, I can tell you that uh, they, <laughs> you know, that badger is not going to be of any help. But let's get Aww. started. Let's see. Okay. okay. Are you ready, Carla? Yes. Okay. I hope. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Start yeah. Starting now, mm-hmm. bath or shower? Shower. Oh, I'll shower 100%. Does yeah. anyone take baths anymore? Does anyone have time? I, I actually do take a bath now and again when I'm feeling sick. Yeah, yeah but, but that's... You know, I just want to warm up and I'm feeling yeah. terrible. I'll get a glass of wine and just sit in the bathtub. Yeah. and yeah. Uh, yeah, it's healing. We don't even have a bathtub. I mean, I could lie down in my shower, I suppose. Yeah, you can. It just seems like a defeated scene in a movie where someone's laying in the shower. (laughs) Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't think you should do that, Pablo. Just up. We have a stand-up shower. That's why. Um, (laughs) Do you prefer to dine out or get food delivered if you were ordering outside? Definitely out. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. We're of the same mind there. As people know, I uh, one of the things I do feature on um, my personal site, which you can follow at pablodassin.com or at Pablo Dassin on Instagram and everything else, uh, you do see that I am a foodie and I do promote restaurants, uh, especially when they have good food. Uh, I'll promote you if you don't have good food, but that costs more. Uh, <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> okay. Classic game or like a card card game or board game? Board game. Board game? Yes. Yeah. What do you think, Pops? I personally would rather go with a board game. I do not really enjoy... Card games? Yeah. No, I don't. Uh, I, it's, it's not I my like, thing. Yeah. There's a time and place for both, yeah. in my opinion, but... Would you prefer new clothes or a new phone? And just to be clear, we're not offering this. We're just asking, generally speaking. <laughs> clothes. New clothes? Yes. New clothes, yeah. 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 I, I think I'm with you, too. Yeah. I'd go with the new phone, personally. but I think know. that's just probably maybe a male, female phone at thing. Home. Oh, I don't think it's male, female. I think <laughs> I know <laughs> lots of, I know lots my wife would probably go with the, uh, with the new, new phone, phone, for sure. Yeah. yeah. She's but I keep breaking the old one, so. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, one more. Money or free time? Well, money to make free time. Ah. Oh, I like how you <laughs> say it. That's yeah. very smart. Yeah. No, She's yeah. looped it in. Yeah. Okay, so now it's time for quote-unquote trivia. And as you know, this is not about what you know or don't know. It's rather a chance for all of us to learn together. So your artist name, it's Casanova, which, by the way, in Spanish means... New house. That's why we did that, you see? It all all ties together. But there was actually a guy named Casanova, uh, Giacomo Casanova, who was an Italian adventurer and author. So your trivia questions are going to be based on... His life. Ooh, romantic. Romantic, indeed. <laughs> oh, I think she rolls her R's like <laughs> <laughs> Romantic. Yeah, I, I, my, my brother could never do that, and he'd go, ar, ar, ar. So oh, it wasn't the same. pirate but stuff. Yeah, it was, yeah, he sounded like a pirate. He actually did sound like a pirate. So, Okay, um, Giacomo Casanova, the Italian adventurer and author, was from which city in Italy? Oh, my. Uh, Venezia? Oh, yeah, 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 she got it right. Yeah. Yeah, these uh, these bells are getting. <laughs> these are getting um, good. No, yeah. they're getting good. <laughs> these bells are getting good. Um, so he uh, he was famous for his often complicated and elaborate affairs with women, and his name is now synonymous with womanizer, mm-hmm. uh, associated with European royalty, popes, and cardinals. Uh, can you tell me in which century did he live? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Eighteenth. 
Oh my God! Whoa. She's just on the ball. Two for two. Well Get it, done. Carla. Yeah, Get two it, for two means a perfect score because uh, that's all the questions I got about Giacomo Casanova. Thank and... you for your help. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's, my all the badger. That's, yeah. that's all the badger, badger. can take, and because uh, you know the badger doesn't like the sound of the ding, but that's why we like digging, right? Um, so I do like. I would want to thank our guest here, Carla Casanova. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you for having me here and sharing all this cool program that you have. Yeah. Muy bueno. Yeah. <laughs> it just sounds nicer yeah. in Spanish, more passionate, yeah. as she said before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I also would want to thank our incredible co-host, LK. Thanks for uh, coming Yay. on the show. Gracias, amigo. <laughs> Despite my name being Pablo, uh, I do not speak Spanish and I'm not going to butcher pronunciation. So in English, I would like to once again thank our promotional partners at the Studio Paint Bar, which is one of the premier and most premium event houses in Mississauga. So check them out at studiopaintbar.ca. For any inquiries from anyone about our program, please visit thehumblebadger.com for contact information. You can send us a message through social media. And I want to thank our crew and thank you for tuning in. I'm signing off from the set here at Tracks Ahead Studio. My name is Pablo Dawson. And wherever you are, whatever you do, remember to follow your passion. Thank you for tuning in to the Humble Badger podcast. For more information, please visit thehumblebadger.com. The Humble Badger podcast is produced by the Pablo Dawson Company. Context matters. See you next time.